We're thrilled to be broadcasting today from the Gravity Bar at the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin to celebrate some of the best books released in recent years. 2020 marks the 25th year of the award, which is the world's largest prize for a single work of fiction in the English language or translated into English. Every year, books are nominated for the award by invited public libraries in cities throughout the world, making this award unique in its coverage of international fiction. Today's event is exciting for another reason, as it marks the beginning of the 2020 International Literature Festival Dublin, a fantastic programme of events running until the 28th of October. This year, because of COVID, um, we had to, I suppose, reinvent the award, reinvent um, how we do things, the proceedings. So we're very fortunate to have the opportunity to work in partnership with ILFD. We weren't going for any sort of quota. We weren't going for any sort of profile. We weren't looking for a particular gender or ethnic profile in terms of who was going to be on the shortlist. What we end up with is a shortlist where out of 10 books, eight are by women, four of those eight of women are colour, and of the two men, one's a gay man and one's Native American. So there's not a single kind of white heterosexual male on the long list or the short list. And we didn't try to do that. We just said, what are the best books? Because we believe so strongly in the power of words, Dublin City Council supports the International Dublin Literary Award every year. The 25th winner of the International Dublin Literary Award is Milkman by Anna Burns. This is an extraordinary honour, especially given the fantastic list I find myself on. 2020 has given us an immensely deserving winner and may I add my own huge congratulations to Anna Burns. Please do check out dublinliteraryaward.ie for links to a podcast with our winner and remember the book is of course available to borrow from your local library. RTE, supporting the arts.